name is Elizabeth Breitweiser, and uh, I'm a color artist in the comic book industry. And right now, I'm working uh, with Ed Brubaker. He was the kind of like the modern day Captain America creator and creator of Winter Soldier. I left Marvel with him, and I'm working on all of his independent properties. I've done Fatal, The Fade Out with Sean Phillips, artist Sean Phillips, and uh, working also with Ed Brubaker and Steve Epting on a book called Velvet, right here. And I'm also working with Robert Kirkman on his new, he's a creator of Walking Dead. I'm working on his new horror comic, Outcast, which is, you know, I'll just say demons are the new zombies, so be sure to check that out. It's um, actually uh, being filmed right now for television, so keep your eyes and ears open for information about that. Um, and I'm also working on a 100-page graphic novel with Gabe Hardman, who is my old comrade over at... Marvel Comics, we did a lot of Hulk and uh, Avengers, or Atlas, together, and we're working on a book at Image called Crooked Man. And then my husband, Mitch Breitweiser, is an illustrator. He's working on some independent properties right now. One of them is called The Futurist, so I'll be coloring that in the coming year or two. So. Well, uh, comic books are kind of like assembly line process. You have the writer who produces a script, which is like a screenplay kind of thing. And uh, then an artist gets it, pencils and inks it, and that could be two different people are the same person. And then they send it off to me, like a, a black and white page, and then I take it and colorize it or paint it. And my job is just to tell the story with color and to compliment the writer and the illustrator. and leading the focus around the page, creating mood and emotion with color, um, and kind of using color psychology basically to get people to feel certain ways when they look at a page, and like I said, to create focus on the page and lead your eye around. Um, so that's my job, is just to complement the artwork and tell the story with color. The nice because uh, working with uh, everyone else that they live around the world, you know, so you're not. I mean, I've never met Ed Brubaker in person, even though I talk to him like every other day. I've never met Sean Phillips, he's in the UK. But uh, there is something really nice about having someone in the studio right there with you who can kind of look over your shoulder. I feel like I can pester him more because he's there and I can get feedback, and you know, so it's uh, more of a back and forth between us. And so we can come up with a product we're both really happy with. And, I mean, it's similar working with the other guys, but I'm more on my own, and then I send it in to them. Whereas with Mitch, we work much closer together. So definitely have its benefits, but we can also butt heads sometimes since we are so close. <laughs> Proximity. But so it has its pluses and its uh, negatives, I guess. But for the, overall, I think it's uh, a great thing. I loved it. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's kind of a dream come true to work on those iconic characters and that you grew up seeing. And um, so, I mean, that was pretty much a dream come true. And it was awesome to be able to do that. But at a certain point, you don't own those characters, you know, so there is no retirement plan there. You, uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, just Elizabeth Brightweiser. My last name is bit of a doozy, but it's B-R-E-I-T-W-E-I-S-E-R. We're uh, one of the few Brightweisers out there, so if you just type in Brightweiser, you'll find my Facebook and Twitter and DeviantArt and all that stuff. Uh, my name is Mitch Breitweiser. I'm an illustrator, uh, comic book artist, and cover painter uh, for uh, pretty much pretty much everybody. Mostly, I've done a lot of Marvel work, but I've done work for uh, DC and Boom and Image and uh, and others. And uh, right now, I'm working on my creator-owned projects uh, that uh, we hope to have out by the end of the year, uh, called the Futurists, that I'm writing with a uh, partner of mine. And uh, yeah, so hopefully everybody will look out for that, and uh, we should be, I think you can follow the progress on my website, which is MitchBrightWeiser.com. Well, on the Create Your Own Projects, we're starting from scratch, so uh, this is a concept that I actually brought up to my longtime 
uh, art editor and writing partner Patrick Styles uh, like six, like about my seven years ago, and uh, we, we really have just been talking about it for uh, it and several other projects for several years, and it just uh, they evolved over time. But when we finally decided to actually pursue it as a comic book series, uh, it's a lot, a lot of phone calls, a lot of phone conversations. We kind of work out the basics of uh, the plot, the story arc, the characters, and the themes, uh, and, uh, you know, hone our, we hone our uh, log lines, which is like, uh, you know, the, like the, the one sentence pitch about what it's about, and kind of includes the theme and the main characters and what their motivations are, and we make sure everything's really tight and simple, and that the story works on one page, uh, and from there we kind of, that's a matter of stripping down, from there we build out, building the three-act structure, and, and uh, to do that we work, we actually work with uh, charts, <laughs> I'm not, maybe I'm getting too detailed here, but we work with charts and break it down into acts and then into issues, and uh, then we just sort of like, we work on post-it notes or index cards, and we pin them up. Scene, we write on the scenes out on index cards, and we write you know, character notes on those things, and then we pin them to our map, basic, basically, and it becomes like kind of a uh, a, uh, a collaborative construction project more than anything else, and then uh, from there he'll move on to the scripts, and I start doing layouts based on our notes, essentially. Cool. And from there, we start making comic books. Cool. It's been pretty great. We uh, it's, it's, we work we we learned to color together in a way um, because I wanted to learn to color and she wanted to learn to color and we just sort of taught each other how to do it and uh, she obviously pursued it in his career. I wanted to use the knowledge to do. Uh, cover paintings like this one here, this uh, uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America piece. So I wanted to apply it this way, uh, and then she applies it as color, uh, as a colorist. And then so we, we have developed a common uh, a common language, color language, and uh, you know terms that we use, and we both know the same Photoshop tricks. So it helps it, us communicate our ideas to each other a little bit better. Um, and it's the same thing with my writing partner. We have, we've read the same books, we talk the same language, we uh, have the same lingo, so we know the same, you know. It's, so I have two partners that, uh, that I can work really, really, really closely together with and I can trust. And uh, I, I believe, and I, it's my great hope that uh, we're going to use, I'm going to be able to use both those partnerships to create a really great product uh, in the future for people later this, uh, this year.